Okay. Yes. Now my name is Anne Marie van Blijenburg. I have been married for 24 years with Kees van Kordlaar. Uh, Kees van Kordlaar, uh, together with his three brothers, form a criminal organization uh, known as the Octopus Syndicate. Uh, they work from 1960 on uh, till uh, the day of today. Um, in uh, uh, order of uh, Queen Beatrix, uh, they have uh, organized uh, uh, martial uh, 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 torture, uh, rape and uh, killing of uh, children uh, in a public setting. Um, they organized that uh, through youth detention centers in the Netherlands. The youth detention centers were told that the criminals were um, uh, asking for the Dutch court uh, for children who could work with uh, the Dutch for the Dutch Queen for a certain period. Uh, the detention centers were very happy. They thought that Queen Beatrix was a very social woman and they uh, gladly uh, volunteered in giving uh, uh, files of uh, certain children to the criminals. Uh, when they wanted to verify what the criminals uh, told them, they were given a name and a phone number of a high-ranking officer at the court of Queen Beatrix, and that high-ranking officer would uh, uh, would state and tell them that indeed uh, those criminals uh, were seeking uh, children uh, to work uh, for a certain period at the Dutch court. Uh, after receiving uh, files of uh, approximately three children uh, every time, uh, the criminals uh, selected a child that had no uh, relative or family. Um, uh, they told the youth detention center uh, child A, A is the one we want to see. The youth detention center uh, uh, bought uh, a clothes with the child so that it was well closed to go to uh, a solicitation uh, uh, conversation uh, and uh, put the child on train uh, to uh, Zwolle. In Zwolle, the criminals uh, uh, fetched the child from the station, uh, brought it to a building uh, which, was, which was equipped as a hotel that was not working as a hotel, although there were people uh, in uh, the lobby uh, doing as if the hotel was in work. Uh, the child was put on a table and were giving something to drink, and in that drink, uh, uh, with a drink, the child was drugged. Uh, 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 besides uh, that hotel was a building where uh, the performance should, should take place. Uh, in that building, um, uh, the people were sat down and uh, at a certain moment, uh, the child was brought into that building uh, by the criminals. Uh, was uh, uh, tortured, uh, raped, and uh, brutally murdered uh, before those uh, people. Uh, the audience uh, was around uh, Johan Friso, uh, Prince Johan Friso, uh, the second uh, son of Queen Beatrix. Uh, I was told that Johan Friso was quite insane and had an unhealthy uh, interest in young children and uh, had a, a steady uh, psychiatrist every day uh, of his life uh, with him. And the psychiatrist's name was uh, Gus Parot Dumont. Um, uh, uh, the criminals organized uh, those uh, killings uh, uh, in accordance with uh, Beatrix, Beatrix uh, paid for it, uh, paid for the killings, and uh, Johan Friso, uh, the criminals asked Johan Friso to bring his uh, relatives or uh, 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 friends uh, with him 
And so the whole uh, uh, building was filled with a very important people from the Netherlands, uh, ministers, um, uh, high-ranking officers, and uh, uh, all kinds of people that the criminals could put on photo so they could uh, blackmail uh, those people and get uh, criminal advantages uh, from that. Could, could you name some of the people who were present? Uh, the people that I recognize there uh, were, uh, for instance, uh, Prince uh, Johan Friso, his uh, steady psychiatrist, uh, psychiatrist, uh, Gus Parot Dumont. Uh, I recognized uh, Mabel Lisa Smith. Uh, she was there with uh, 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 an old uh, steady man. I think it was uh, George Soros. I recognized uh, Donner, uh, former minister of uh, the law department. Uh, at this moment, Vice Roy of the Netherlands. I recognized uh, Ernst Hirsch Balling, uh, a very important uh, former Minister of uh, Justice. I recognized uh, E. van den Emster. He was uh, uh, for years uh, the head of all judges in the Netherlands. I recognized uh, Dick Berlijn, uh, the uh, uh, former head of uh, the military uh, department in the Netherlands. I recognized a journalist, a very important journalist, Gerlof Leistra for, of the journal The Elsevier. I recognized uh, Carla Irades. Uh, at present, he is president of the court in Amsterdam, a judge. I recognized Mark Rutte. Is at this moment a uh, minister uh, president of the, the Netherlands. I recognize Geert Wilders. He is at this moment the head of the political party PVV in the Dutch parliament. Uh, there were about 50 people every time I was taken there. I have been taken there three times. I have seen every time kill a child killed, that a, a child was killed, and I have seen uh, two boys killed, I have seen one girl killed. I presume those children were uh, Netherlands children, I presume those children came from the detention centers of the Netherlands uh, on the way, uh, and were recruited on the way that I have told. You said that, um, uh Officials at the detention centers said that they thought that they had been eaten? I've asked the journalists uh, about uh, in 2000, uh, 2005, year 2005 or 2006. I asked the journalist of the journal The Telegraph to uh, look it out for me and to publish it in the newspaper what was happening. Uh, the journalist uh, told me that he had uh, uh, controlled my story with all the youth detention centers in the Netherlands and had spoken to people uh, who had uh, indeed uh, uh, given those files to the criminals and uh, thought that the children uh, they put on the train uh, were going to a solicitation uh, conversation and were going to work for in the court of Queen Beatrix and uh, that uh, some of those um, uh, people of the detention center told the journalist that they thought that Queen Beatrix was eating those children up because they were putting him, them on the train to Zwolle and they never saw them back or heard anything about them anymore. Do you know what happened to the remains of the children after they died? Do you know where they were buried or what they did with them? Yes, unfortunately I know, yes. Uh, they were first uh, uh, thrown in uh, uh, a container uh, uh, behind uh, the building where they were murdered, um, a, a cooling container. Uh, after um, uh, certain uh, uh, 
performances. Uh, the container was brought to Belgium, uh, where they uh, had a piece of land uh, where uh, uh, they put the children in a hole. Where and what is the name of the place in Belgium? Do you know? I, I, I must look it up. Okay. I thought I've, I've, I've found it, uh, but I must look it up. What is it that you'd like to see happen about all this? Oh, I want to see those criminals uh, forever after bars. <laughs> yeah. You've been, okay. you haven't received any help though from within the Netherlands, you said. Not, not one thing, and no, it, 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 it is terrible. Uh, from 2004 on till now today, uh, I have spoken with every policeman I could find. find. I've uh, spoken with every uh, uh, law official I could find. I've talked to Interpol uh, about this. I've uh, been to court uh, to, to try uh, to get a conviction of uh, the uh, prosecutor uh, to, to investigate the matter. Uh, uh, the court told me that uh, it wasn't my problem. It was a problem of the society and the court didn't want uh, to give an order to the prosecutor to, to investigate. Uh, I have done literally everything um, uh, to, to clear this up. I, I haven't, uh, no, I'm, I, I have the idea that uh, 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 everything, uh, um, everything is stopped because uh, uh, Beatrix is involved. Right. Uh, the Dutch court is involved and every time uh, some policeman wants to investigate uh, uh, they slap him uh, on the shoulders and say don't do that because Queen Beatrix doesn't want it. Are you willing to give this testimony in another court, say a common law court? Yes. I have no objections about that. I'm, I'm very very angry. If you've seen what I've seen, um, it, it always stays with you. Uh, I, uh, uh, I can put it aside because it is one of the uh, Google things that I've seen, but it's horrible. Yes. It, it's really uh, horrible. It is, it is idiot. Um, I, I, uh, uh, one time when, when I was driven back to my home, so my, my husband took me there. Uh, my husband drugged me and my husband let me see that and my husband brought me back to the home and my home was about a hundred kilometers far and uh, during that ride um, uh, I, I suddenly came to my senses uh, I suddenly discovered uh, that that uh, that was a child that I had seen killed uh, I burst out in tears uh, my husband was driving uh, he put his arm uh, to me and he said, uh, don't bother, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're children of the, uh, a minor order, uh, it's just trash, uh, it doesn't matter that they are killed. It's horrible, it's, it's horrible, it is, it, it's, uh, I can't describe it, it's horrible, it's, it's idiot that those people who are looking there and not doing anything. Those people are idiots. And your husband is still alive. <laughs> he's still alive and he's still killing people. It's it's it's, it's idiot. If, if you if you if you uh, just think how many people since 2004, since I I tried to stop it, have been killed. It's ten years. Yeah. They kill approximately perhaps ten or twenty people a year. Uh, if, if, if not more, it's, it's horrible. I, 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 have, uh, uh, I have shown the police, I have let them see four places in the Netherlands they used as graveyards for, for people, they liquidated them. Never, never any policeman has taken the trouble to look, to look. Can you name those four places? Yes, I, I can name those places. I can, I can uh, show them, but I, must, I, I will put them to you uh, by, uh, by email. Uh, uh, but but 
The criminals uh, know that I've told the police they've had every opportunity to let uh, uh, the bodies disappear again. I, I know two, two places where it is difficult for them uh, to let them disappear. Uh, one is a pool, but, but I've seen uh, 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 that they do, did something there. I, I don't know what. But it must, be, it must have been difficult uh, to uh, uh, let uh, the bodies disappear from those pool, from that pool. But, but never, normally in the Netherlands, when you find a, a something in a house, a corpse or, or blood, uh, uh, the police goes with, with 20, 30 people to investigate it. And when I uh, say to the people, I know four places in the Netherlands they use as a graveyard, and every graveyard, perhaps 20 till 50, perhaps 100 bodies are buried there. And nobody is looking. Nobody is looking at those places. Nobody right. goes there. Could you tell us your name and the date? Please, today. Uh, today is uh, the 5th of June, uh, 2014. And my name is Anne-Marie van Blenjenburg. Thank you, Anna-Maria. We'll talk to you again.